In order to remove the cylinder head, we must remove the components that are attached to it. First, we'll go ahead and remove the exhaust pipe. To do this, we'll loosen the two nuts on the lower side of the cylinder head, connecting the exhaust pipe to it. Next, remove the nut and the bolt that connect the exhaust pipe to the frame. Now we'll go ahead and remove the carburetor. To start, loosen the bolt that connects the carburetor to the intake elbow. This allows us to rotate the carb slightly so it doesn't rub up against the frame. Next, we'll take off the two nuts connecting the intake elbow to the cylinder head. With the two nuts disconnected, the carburetor and intake elbow should slide right up. Next, we'll remove the spark plug. To remove the cylinder head, we will remove the four nuts that hold the head to the cylinder body. With the four bolts, or the four nuts removed from the threader rods, the head will slide off. We can now remove the gasket and then remove the cylinder. To remove the piston, we will use a pair of needle nose pliers and remove the clip that holds the piston pin in. With the clip removed, using a punch and a hammer, gently tap on the piston pin until it comes out. Once this is removed, the piston will slide off the piston rod. To reinstall, we will start by installing one of the clips on one side of the piston. Using needle nose pliers, use a twisting motion until the clip goes into the groove in the piston. There is an arrow on the piston Make sure that when installing the piston, the arrow is pointed down. Now we'll install our piston ring. Working from the top, we'll gently twist and push it over the edge. You'll notice that there is a slight notch cut out of the piston ring. 
This needs to line up with the pin that's on the top of the piston. Using some oil, lubricate the bushing that goes inside of the piston rod. Take the piston and start to install the piston pin and then slide the whole assembly over the rod. Once it's lined up, use gentle pressure and push the pin into place. You can now install the other clip in the same fashion that you installed the first one. Install the new gasket, and now lubricate the piston ring. While compressing the ring slightly, slide the cylinder over the piston and push into place. Now install the cylinder head. Start the four nuts onto the threaded rods that hold the cylinder head and cylinder on to the engine. Once these are started, you can go ahead and snug them up. Using a torque wrench and a cross pattern, torque each nut to 7 foot-pounds.
Now we can reinstall the carb. Put a new gasket on. And now install the carb by placing the intake elbow over the two lugs and install the nuts. Make sure the carb is level, and then tighten down the bolt connecting the carb to the intake elbow. Now to reinstall the exhaust pipe, insert the bolt that connects the pipe to the frame, but do not tighten it. After installing a new gasket, insert the studs with the nuts on them or place the pipe over the studs if they did not come out with the nuts. Now that the two bolts holding the exhaust pipe to the cylinder are tightened, we can go ahead and tighten up the bolt that holds the exhaust pipe to the frame. Reinstall the spark plug. Now reinstall the side covers if you have them. Hope this video helps. Thanks for watching.